Hey, welcome to another episode of Speak Out World. I'm your host, Jewel L. And I'm your host, Dino L. And we got a great show today discussing entrepreneurship over the airwaves. And we'll be right back with today's guest coming from Chi-Town, James Render. today, right? I know I know you got a quote, Jill. Go yes. on and spit that quote for us. So the quote today is, the concept that you cannot own the airwaves has caused far more harm than good. So listen, we have a lot of entrepreneurs today that are having their own podcast. They're on online radio, YouTube. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Entrepreneurs over the airwaves. And so um, today's guest, we have James Render coming to us from the shy. James is the host Shut of- up. Hey. Yes, hey. he is the host of the music according to James, creating a platform to give a voice to the community. Wow, schooling folks in R&B, <laughs> funk, and jazz. You Welcome, James, to Speak Out World. Oh, girl, thank All you right. so much. Hey. Thank you for having me. I'm really blessed and truly honored to be here on the show with you guys, man. Great stuff, Jewel. I've been knowing you guys, then you guys for years. <laughs> Who yes. would have thought? Yes. Who would have thought we would be right here today? I know, as one of the as mm-hmm. one of the entrepreneurs over the over the airwaves. I mean, mm-hmm. even with us starting this podcast, mm-hmm. that was one of the steps. I know for you, before you got on the airwaves, you also had your own IT company, mm-hmm. um, Quantum Novo Nova Technologies, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And so yes. you were an entrepreneur doing that. So tell us about that before we get into how you got your radio spot. No oh, boy, it's the story behind that boy. This radio thing is really good. So, you know, I've been, you know, pitting around with, you know, music, you know, wanting to get on the radio. I was just, you know, playing around. You know, you just play around with it. And uh, so a few years ago, my wife said, okay, I'm going to give you a Christmas present. So she gave me a two-week Christmas present of being on the air at UBM in Chicago. Two weeks. Okay. So I had, I did a two-week show, one, two weeks. And now the rest is history. Okay. Now wow. I can't see myself doing nothing else but this. Okay. All right. So, so you be in for a while, uh, the music according to James, which is, you know, four years. And about a year ago, you being folded out. And God made a way so that I could just move from UBM to Step North Go, which was seamless. I didn't miss a show, I didn't miss a wow. beat which was God. I knew it was God, but the God been coming to me telling me, I want you to get on my, my platform. And I kept putting him off. And it was an old college buddy. I hadn't seen him in 40 years. He calls me up and said, man, I got a platform. Come on, get on the show. I said, I don't know, man. I'm from UBM. Time you being folded, I just moved right to him. Okay. And that was a year ago. Wow. So we just had a year anniversary a couple of weeks ago. One year owning WJWR, man. We jam, we rock. We don't stop. I'm telling you, man. I'm All right. You. Jesus. Congratulations. Thank you. I, Thank you. I, I'm going to let um, Dino jump in, but there was a mm-hmm. question about um, the fact that you owned your own IT before you got yes. into it, Quantum yes. Nova Technologies. Yes. Yes. So uh, tell us a little bit about that because you were already an entrepreneur. Yeah. Before yeah. You uh, Quantum Nova Technologies. Quantum Nova Technologies. I've had that for, um, it's going on nine years now, basically. Wow. Uh, I got there one day. I was sitting in, in, uh, in the cubicle doing a nine to five IT. And God just told me, he said, you know, you need to be accountable for yourself, you know, because, you know, mm-hmm. being in that cubicle, you know, people, it was bug- bugging me. <laughs> Couldn't let me do what I want to do. So he said, you just need to do your own thing. So he allowed me to, uh, to leave that job and start my own, my own business. And man, we come a long way with quantum Nova technology, man. We've done, I've done work in every bank in Chicago. Uh, they got my signature mm-hmm. somewhere. <laughs> In the, you know, in the city of Chicago. So, man, it's been a blessing. God has blessed me truly. And uh, and I believe in giving back, and that's really part of what WJWR really is, you know, in the community, we're giving back. So 
I just thank God for it. This is what I tell people. You know, you do what you love. And I love music. I, just, I love playing it. I love organizing. I love just the whole thing about music. And that's all kind of gospel, funk, jazz, you know, neo soul, oldies. I love it all. And uh, so I would tell people, do what you love. If you love it, you're going to have that passion. And I exactly. have that passion. I, you know, and I, everybody that works around me, my staff, we all have that passion for this. If you don't have a passion, don't come over here. <laughs> That's right. Don't come over That's here. That's right. That's true. I mean, and so since you've been doing this, you celebrated your one year anniversary. I mean, what has been like the most rewarding part of having your own show? I know I can kind of speak on that, but, you know, tell us for you, what has been re- the most rewarding part of it? The, the most rewarding part is just being myself. Okay, when you have your own show, you can be yourself. Okay, and you can play your music that you want to play. Nobody can't say you can't play that. Okay, <laughs> I play what I want to play. But, I, you know, I, I just think that my ear for music and what I know and what God has given me, the music I play is for everybody. Okay. Amen. So, uh, so that's, that's how it is, you know. Uh, and actually, here's the deal. I tell people all the time. They ask me, how do you come up? Because every show I have a theme. You know, I have a theme like, you know, jazzy or, uh, you know, whatever, just a theme that I have. And, I'll, and they ask me, how do I get the theme and how do I get the music? And I say, I just sit in front of my, my, my desktop and God gives me what to do. It is amazing how it works out. Wow. I tell you. Every time. Every t- and it's a, actually, <laughs> sometimes it scares me a little bit. I'll be like, God, what are you, you going to do now? You know, what are you going to give me? To put? Seriously. And then it just it just start happening. Track after track. I'm sorry, whether it be gospel day, funk day, 45 day, you know, Michael Jackson, whatever. You know, how it comes out, God is orchestrated so that when it's the product, the final product, God is blessed it when it comes out that way. So, so James, go. let me jump yes, in again. Come on. How does the music, according to James, create a platform to give the community a voice by appearing on your show? Okay, that's that's a good question. That's a good question. Because the music according to James, okay, WJWR is the is the you know, it's the station. The music according to James is just one show that's on my station. Okay, we have multiple shows. Got I mean, you. our Sunday lineup, man, is the it's bar none. We start 5 a.m. in the morning with gospel music on Sundays. We have like this round table Bible discussion. We have three ministers, uh, three ministers from four different states. Okay, it is crazy. It's called it's called a round table Bible discussion. We've got four or five ministers that come in, man. It is just crazy all day Sunday from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. at night. Okay. Wow. And those and these guys come in and they really give the word of God. Okay. Definitely. It is a really nice show. You should check it out. During the week, Man. I have a show called On the Air with WJWR where I have people come in for half an hour and just tell me what they think about what's going on. I just had a uh, Generation Z week where I had all young people on the show. Got their take on what's going on with the Black Lives Matter, racism, the violence, because the kids got a, got a voice. So I'm giving my platform up so they can say what they need to say. And the world Absolutely. needs to hear that. Especially Absolutely. our black kids, very articulate, say what they want to say, very good. So that our platform is there for anybody to come in and use it, as long as it's godly base, good for the community, clean cut, you got my ear. Okay. So that's yeah. how I do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I do it. And it's- and it's so necessary. I mean, we can definitely tell you, mm-hmm. you know, even for Speak Out, that's part of our platform, mm-hmm. you know, is to be able to give artists and activists a place to be able to speak out about issues, you know? Mm-hmm. So, Come on. Um, Dino, I know you are a big jazz music oh. buff. Oh, no. And so I'm going to let you, I'm just going to let you throw in, you know, some <laughs> questions, you know, because everything I know about uh, jazz, I also learned from Dino. So, Dino, I'm going to let you throw out some jazz artists <laughs> and see what, see what James' opinion is. Come on, is. man. Y'all be, come on, Dino. Big, Whatever. Big, come on, Big Dino. James. Big James, I'm a smooth jazz enthusiast. Come on. And yes. my favorite is Bob James. Bob James, so, come on, man. Come yes, on, sir. man. The Nautilus. Come on, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Nautilus. So you know. One, one yeah. two, three, two and, and three. four. Come, and four. Come on, man. So so tell me who are some of your favorite jazz okay. artists. All right, man. You know, here we go. We got uh, Boney James, which I've seen many times. Great artist, yes. man. Mesmerizing saxophone player. 
Oh man, very good stuff. Uh, uh, Grover Washington. Oh man, another yeah. Sad yeah. Oh yeah. You know Grover. He's a man. Okay. Yes. He's definitely the man, man. So uh, that's one of my favorites. Uh, Art of Noise. I don't know if you can go back with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Might not. Might not be hip to that. Okay. Art of Noise, man. Back in the eighties. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Richard Elliott. Richard yes, Elliott. Sir. Yes. Oh sir. man, come on, man. Man, we can go on, man. Uh, we can go on. Uh, Alan Hewitt, man, Citrus Sun, oh, yeah. Granger, oh, Spur yeah. of the Moment, Zachary Brox. Come on, man. We can just roll on. <laughs> All right. All right. You we can roll it out, boy. You sure now, now. Yeah. You so sure now, now. Man, I just, I, I love jazz, smooth jazz, man. I've seen a lot. Althea Renee, flute player. Yes, sir. Just had her yes, on my sir. show. I interviewed her. Awesome, man. Seen her three or four times. Interviewed her on my show. Good art, man. Flute, ooh, off the chain, man. Ty Johnny Britt of Impromptu. Interviewed him on the show. Man, great stuff, man. Yeah, man, had uh, Chris Jasper on the show. I interviewed him from the Isaac Brothers. Man, God has just been blessing, man. So, wow. man, it's, it's all good up in here, man. <laughs> James, James, I'm going to have to tune in to you. You're going to hear look. Smooth look, show. you better. You better start yes, listening sir. to the music according to James. And then all I during the week, you. doing all during the week, man, we playing jazz all during the week. We playing all, all different right. kinds of music. Okay. All right. All the time. Yeah. So, man, well, come you on, got man. my ear. You got my ear. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I do, man. I'm glad I do, man. Good stuff. J- James, I have a question. So come when on, you James. think about what's going on in the present time and you think about mm-hmm. music like Marvin Gaye, what's going Ooh. on, yeah. and how it's so relevant now, um, when you think about Curtis Mayfield and Stevie yes. Wonder, I mean, you, you know, do you see us coming back to that type of music consciousness in terms of with the artists, with everything that's going on now? Or do you see current day musicians kind of still clinging on to the classics, you know, from the 60s and the 70s? Well, you know, like you said, what's going on? You can play that now. And we and we right there. We're right there. What's going on? Marvin Gaye, he had a, that, that whole album was just, that's for all times now. Okay. You yes. can't beat that. And you know what? I don't want to, you know, jinx the people, but a lot of artists are just not putting out that kind of music now. They're, they're really not. Okay. They're in a certain certain genre. They're saying a certain thing that's kind of not like that. Okay. Now, I like most Def. Okay. He's, he's mm-hmm. one that's really kind of saying a lot of stuff that's going on now. Okay. But, I, you know, like you said, you can't go wrong with Stevie and Marvin. Groups like that, man, you know, that... They just had the ear of the, of the people. They had the ear in the ground. Yes. Okay. Now it's like because of the Black Lives Matter, and I, I don't, I don't really think you really got a direction right now for that. For right now, maybe later on somebody's gonna come up with some good stuff for that, for all this stuff. But now, for now, you gotta stick with the classics right now. You know, if you wanna know what's going on, you put Marvin on. Yeah. <laughs> you put Curtis yeah. Mayfield on. Like I say, there's hell below. We all gonna go. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so. <laughs> Seriously, so yeah. you know, like Willie Hutch, people like that, you know, yeah, and, and yeah. you know, like Mays and all that stuff. You know, they start kind of music like that. You know, you probably never hear any music like that again. AWB, that kind of stuff. You never hear that again. You know, but I got you. But but you know what? Mm-hmm. With with your shows and with so many different entrepreneurs using mm-hmm. um, music right now from back in the day, old <laughs> school music. I mean. Like you said, it, it will never die. You know, it will mm-hmm. never die. Yeah, you're right. And the message continues to live on. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when we talk about uh, music, I, I, I got to mention the fact that you really come from in your immediate family. Like your wife is this mm-hmm. multi Emmy mm-hmm. yes. award winning mm-hmm. producer, television yes. producer. Yeah. Your son is an educator and a jazz yes, artist. Yes, he is. Yes. You know, so, um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he's coming out with a second CD, right? Number three. He's got oh, two out already. CD. Yeah, he got okay, two out already. the third CD. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, so what advice would you give to a parent or a spouse in terms of supporting a family member that's mm-hmm. looking to pursue a career um, and getting in the airwaves? Well, you know, like- you know, it's like I said, you know, you you got to love what you do. And if that individual really love what they do, the, their gift will make room for them. That's what the scriptures say. 
Your gift mm -hmm. will make yeah. room for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they got the gift, then you can't squash it. Okay. That's one thing parents and you know, girls have to understand because maybe they don't understand. I was I was told I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> so, but no, I knew in my heart what I wanted to do. Okay. So my advice with them, don't squash it. Make sure now that they still get the education. They do all that other stuff that they need to do. Mm -hmm. But if they have this passion, like Jimmy, let's take my son, Jimmy. Uh, he started playing saxophone when he was in sixth grade. Okay. And uh, okay. when I bought him his first saxophone, I told him, I said, boy, if you don't play this saxophone, I'm going to kill you. Because <laughs> 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 it cost too much money. And I, done, I done bought him three saxophones from that point on. But, hey, he took that to heart. I didn't never tell him to practice. I never said, Jimmy, you got to practice. He, I never did that. That's when I knew then he was going to be okay. And then he went into the teaching thing, teaching music at Thornton High School in Chicago, band director. Oh, there you go. Hey, now, like I said, put out two CDs. We go out there on YouTube, bring up James W. Render the third. Got to listen to his music. Man, it's off the chart. He's working on number three right now. So, man, please, I tell people, let him go. Keep an eye on him and let him go. Make sure so, that they yeah, balance. Yeah. Make sure they balance, you know, get the education, you know, but make sure they're practicing and combing their craft. So that's what it so, takes. So, James, are you on the album with them? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't play. <laughs> I can't play a thing. <laughs> I just play but the music. You can play some mean play music. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I play the music. That's and you know what? You know what? I'm, you know, another thing. My grandson, he plays saxophone too. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. But, but he's a pilot now. Okay. Okay. But he's still playing. The music thing is ingrained in our family from. Way back when my dad had the little controller box, you know, we used to get up every morning, you know, play WVON. If you remember what that WVON back in the day, Herb hey, Kent, Kent, Herb Kent, Kent Herb Kent. Purpose Man, the cool all the blues, man. Cause there you go, right. went through all that, and it was just you know, I sung in the choir, I sung in my high school choir for three years, I sung in church choir for a while. So music has always been around, always, always been around. Yeah, but it took really God to really kind of home it. So that I can put it in a certain direction to make it correct, you know, so mm -hmm. I can be an influence or be a help to the community and other young artists that's coming up. Don't okay? count. Yes, yes. And so that's what this platform is all about. I tell you all the time. You come to me, you got something. If it's good, I'm gonna give you the platform. Don't okay? count. But if God say no, then it's a no. And believe me, I've had to tell people no. And I've been like, man, but no. What I put out here is God. It represents him more than it represents me. Amen. So I tell people, what I got you, don't don't get into it. If, you, if you're doing it for money, whatever, that's a whole different thing. I turned down our heart radio twice. Wow. Because they wanted, wow. you know, they want they wanted to do certain things I didn't want to do. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is God's station, and I wanted to stay that way. So I turned them down twice. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> really Thank good. You. So let you know. Well, you know. That's one of the things as we're talking about entrepreneurship in the airwaves that mm -hmm. really empowers people in terms of where they where they stand, because it, it gives them the ability to be able to take control of how mm -hmm. they That's want good. to yeah. have the mm -hmm. art form to go and how they want to have their platform, as opposed to being told by someone else what type of music needs to be played or what topics you're allowed to talk about or cannot talk about. Right. I think that's one of the one of the things that. Um, I think both of us share in common that we want mm -hmm. to be able to empower people right. to be able to have that voice. Right. Remember, I mean, back in the day, if you didn't have, you know, if you didn't have this, a look or a book right. or an agent, you you just could not get your voice heard. You know, you just yeah. could not get your yeah. voice heard. I mean, I know um, and I know that there's a lot of 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 it with uh, social media and mm -hmm. followers and see how you yeah. have. But I think the platforms that a lot of entrepreneurs have over the airwaves is definitely being able to give that voice to artists who normally just true, true do that, that true that, true that. And you are absolutely correct, Joel. I mean, because, hey, people have been there. You know, you get frustrated because you want to try to get into this industry or get in the industry and, you know, doors are slammed on you. You know, this is a way to get it done. That you can, you know, really yeah. hear your work. And I'll tell you one other thing I want to kind of expound on. 
I couldn't do this by myself. I have a, my staff is bar none, the best. Uh, Jewel, I'm sorry, okay? All right. Staff is the All best. right. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Take <laughs> it to the staff. I'm serious. I'm serious. I have, of course, you know, I have my wife, Lodi, who is, and all my editors, she does all the editing and stuff. But that's my rock, you know. I don't yeah. do nothing unless I pass it by her, you know. That's how it's got to be. And, you know, I have my, I got, I got a web designer, Kim Roseman Woods. I've been with her. I've been knowing her for like 35, 40 years. She knows me like a book. Stuff, we don't even, she, we just look at each other. She just makes stuff for me. And I ain't, you know, hey, whatever it is, you got it, you know. Then right. I've got, uh, I've got a social media expert, Krista Shavers. You know, Krista, I don't know if you know, well, uh, Lorraine's brother's daughter, Krista Shavers. Okay. She's okay. my social media guru. She does all my social media. She posts, she does all that booze, all that stuff. She's out there doing that. <laughs> Then I have, you know, I know I got the man with the voice, Mr. Eugene Nichols. I've got, because um, I want to mention these people. I don't want to bring out, <laughs> yeah. you know, Jamal Diggins, Jamal Daddy Diggins, Tommy Collins, guys that helped create the logo and all that stuff. Man, it's just a great thing, man. And I'll tell you, I couldn't do it without these people, okay? Without them, there would be no the music called the James or WJWR, okay? So you got to have the right people around you with the passion. And every one of these people I just named, they have the passion that they want to get this done and get this out, okay? And I'm not doing this for money, Jewel, okay? Yes. Not doing it for money. Not saying that, I'll, you know, if the money come, now I'm taking it, <laughs> okay? But <laughs> <laughs> that's not my most operandi to say I'm out here just to make money. I'm out here to get this word out, get this platform, people use it, and I know God's going to bless me, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what that's all about. It's just not like I'm my first motive is that I want money. No, I want to put so, out a Jay. good product. Come on. So, James, you, you've gone internationally, my brother. So tell us something about it. Speak out on that, my okay, brother. Okay, you, know, you know, man, right quick. We, we, reach, we reach about 100, 200 nations around the world. Whoa. Okay, seriously, seriously, seriously. Uh, man, uh, and because I know this, because the, the, uh, the platform I'm broadcasting off is called Sam Broadcast, okay? And everything is IP driven. Okay. So whenever somebody hits and logs on to the show, it's IP driven. I see, I see where they're at. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all over the world. Yeah. Russia, France, Italy. Oh man, Brazil, Cuba. I mean, all over the place, man. It's just amazing. And you know, Music and I keep it universal. Yes, it Music is. Music is universal. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I, that's what I'm saying, man. It's all over the world. And you'd be surprised that the people, the, the countries, man, Lithuania, wow. <laughs> just all yeah. kind of countries that's really logging in. And see, my thing is, I see how long, and it tells me how long you're listening. Okay. We average, like one month, we average like, like 1,500 minutes of listening time. Okay. That wow. means everybody listening. And the average time they're listening to every show is 21.3 minutes. Wow. So let's think, you're not, there's no video going. You just listening for 20 minutes. That's a long time to be listening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So no, we no, no, we think we're putting out a good product, you know. So uh, it's only gonna get better. But we got more shows coming all low. We just we just think today, now today, we just think this marriage show that's gonna come on starting in July, where where they're gonna be uh catering to marriage couples from 25 to 40. So that's oh, on wow. Sunday. That's just to add what we got going, man. Living healthy, wealthy, and wise. And <laughs> man, messenger, the messenger in the word, spirit, yes. truth, uplink. Man, you get on Sundays, man, it's great. You can't get off of it. I'm telling you. Wow. Right? That's so, you know, uh, Dino, you better be listening, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come yes, looking sir. for you because I'm going to know when you hit that I IP address is going to say Atlanta, Georgia. I know you will. <laughs> you too. <All> right. <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs> James, yes, I mean, I, I want to go back to help okay. some entrepreneurs out who okay. are who are listening to this show mm -hmm. and thinking like, I have a voice, I have, you know, a podcast idea, I have a YouTube idea, I want to be able to share my voice, right? But you said something very interesting about having a good team. And I mm. do know what it means to have a really good team and to All be right. part of a good team. You and your dad, so y'all make a good team. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, and yo. you know, you know, shout out to, you know, yeah. um and Anise and Sharon behind the scenes, you know, yes, doing absolutely. their thing. Um, with yes, speak no. out. But 
I want to I want to ask you as an entrepreneur, having your own IT business for nine years and then transitioning to the airwaves, how do you go about building your team? Okay, like I said, the first thing, okay, uh, like I said, passion is almost paramount. Because, see, if you don't have a passion, I just don't want somebody to do this for a paycheck. Okay? Right. I mean, and I'm very I'm very on that. You know, if you just come in here for a paycheck, then you, we probably won't. We, you probably won't do nothing. Okay? <laughs> you got to have a passion for what we're doing here. Okay? Right. And once I give you where we're going, what we're doing, you know, how we're looking at things and what we want to do, if you and I don't have a passion for that, then you probably won't you probably won't work out here. It's not that you might not work out somewhere else, but I'm just not for just a paycheck thing. Okay. Yeah. This is something yeah. that we you gotta put passion in. You gotta wanna put the best product that you can do. Put it out there. Okay. Now, not that we won't put out resources to do it now, because the stuff costs money. <laughs> costs money, okay? Yes. <laughs> All right. It costs money. But the idea that you get shows that come on, they pay for their shows, and then they get sponsors, and then they have pay for everything. So it kind of balances out, okay? But, you know, I just let everybody know, you know, if you're going to come aboard, if you get you're building that team, okay, that team has to be a great team. And it has to be a passionate team. It has to be a knowledgeable team. It has to be know what they're talking about, okay? A lot of things I don't know about social media. A lot of things I don't know about. That's why I have somebody that can tell me about social media. You can't be afraid not to let somebody come in and tell you some things you don't know. Okay? Absolutely. Because Absolutely. you don't know, we don't know it all. I don't know everything about editing this or editing that, you know, social media. I, you know what, my son calls me an on-air diva now. <laughs> 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 That's what he called myself, on-air diva? What you talking about? <laughs> so I get that. So everybody got to play their part, okay? All right, so <laughs> you, you bring people in that's going to help you move this thing along, and then the, the, in the community, like now we can ready to get a uh, get get out the vote thing. We're gonna we're gonna start pushing, okay? So okay, there's a lot good. of things we can do, yeah, that we want to do to make the community better, okay? Absolutely. So there you go. All right. All right. Well, listen, this has been an awesome show. We have Absolutely. enjoyed you. Thank you. We have enjoyed you. And before we go, I know that we're going to make sure that all your information is on um, our website, on the scroll for people who watch the video. But for folks who want to check out your show. <laughs> I'm one. I'm please. one. There you go, there you go Dino. Check and it out, baby. Folks, <laughs> who need to check out the music according to James? Mm, Tell them mm. how they can do it. Yeah, Tell okay. Them Here we go. This is what we do. Okay. There's two ways you can get to it. Okay. We have an app out there. Okay. What you need to do is you go to your Play Store, Google Play Store, App Store, any one of them. You type in Step North Go. Okay. Step North Go. You download that to your phone and you open it up and you go down and you select WJWR. And you got us right there. We're playing right, right there. You can't beat us. Now, the second way, you can do it through your browser, the URL. You put in your www.wjwrinternetradio.com right there. When it comes up, you say, listen, you, there's a player will come up, you hit play, and you got us. Okay? And on that website there, we got all the information about all the shows, all our MCs, everybody's got a show. It's amazing about this web. I mean, woo, Lord, like I said, my web designer, she's just off the chart. So all that stuff is on there. So you guys can just go through there and look at everybody that we got. And it's just amazing. All the artists, all the MCs, it's just amazing. God is just amazing. I'm just, I'm fluent. Yes, she is. Yes, yes. she is. Well, so there you go. That's how you get to me. This interview has been amazing. And yeah. we want to thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi. Coming here from the side, you know. Hey, 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 hey. hey. South side, Lake, South, South Shore Drive, man. South Shore, Lake Shore Drive. You know yeah. anything about that? Come on, you know about Lake Shore Drive. You know about that. Yeah, and you've been here. You've been driving down, down, down Lake Shore Drive going 70 miles an hour. Come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm not going to tell on myself, but I'm going to tell you. Oh, tell me. what you do. <laughs> next time we get together, you know, we got to... Um, you know, okay. we gotta have some of that Chi Town food. Yes, so we gotta yeah. have some we yeah. gotta have some pizzas. I ain't gonna call yeah, out you no know, do ways, baby. Sponsors, do ways, but, do ways. Okay. Do ways, you, you know. But you know, we're gonna have, look, 
You send me all this stuff. I'm gonna put you on my site too. And we're gonna be here. I'm there. Hey, we go ahead. This is a collaboration now. Remember, I told yes, you once sir. I got home, we yes, going sir. with this. Okay, yes, you know we going with this. This all is gonna right, be back and right, forth. Jay. I'm right, gonna throw some. Jay. Hey, she's y'all doing this. I'm gonna throw some people to you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let me throw some people to you. They can want to get on. So hey, this is this is it, man. So I'm gonna do a virtual handshake. Okay? Virtual handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna blast you. This is great. Jewel, you know I love you. Where your mom at? Yeah. Well, mama. listen, everyone. Sure. We want to thank everyone for joining in to another thank episode you. of Speak Out. Thank and we want to remind you that you got a mm. voice, so don't be afraid to speak, speak out. out world. world. Yeah. World. All right, guys. Peace out. Love them. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye bye, y'all. See you soon. All right. Woo. Woo. Wow. Good stuff. That's good. That's good, y'all.